Hi, I'm Venki, and I'm going to demo you today how you can use your existing spreadsheets for adding your team to QuickBooks Payroll. So let's get started. Uh, we are enabling this feature for all our US customers who are uh, customers of core, premium, and elite plans. Uh, we are enabling using your existing spreadsheets to be uploaded so that you can add your employee details in one go and you have a better starting point for payroll setup. This is now available for 25% of our customers. Uh, within the payroll tab, you'll see the list of setup tasks if you haven't set up your account yet. Uh, within setup tasks, the third task on add your team is uh, where you would. Uh, let's say you're a customer with a lot of employees. When you start setting up payroll, the third task is tell us about your team. Uh, when you get started, we ask you uh, if you are a customer of ADP, Paychex, or Gusto, or if you use spreadsheets in the past. And this basically enables us to ease that up for you. Uh, this video is about spreadsheets, but I do highly recommend uh, using the ADP, Paychex, and Gusto features, wherein we can absorb reports to get a lot of your payroll information and set up payroll very smooth. Uh, but like I said, let's focus on spreadsheets for now. So to show you a quick example, um, let's say you have a spreadsheet like this. You have a lot of the details of your uh, employees. You have other relevant information or irrelevant information that is free entered into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we want to help you bring all this data into QuickBooks and ease setup for you. Now, let us go through the workflow within QuickBooks Payroll and see how we do that. Okay. So coming here, if you do have a spreadsheet that can help you set up uh, with employee details that are relevant to payroll, then I suggest you click spreadsheets here and then click next. Uh, you could proceed in two ways. You could either import your spreadsheet onto the product and that will help you save effort. Uh, we recommend this step if you have five or more employees if you have less than five employees, let's say two or three employees, then we suggest you add your team manually because you would find uh, this flow is not actually very beneficial for you. Assuming you are a customer with more than five employees, let's go right in and see what we have in store for you. So the first step is upload your spreadsheet. Uh, in this step, we will read your file and pull in all your employees info. The second step is mapping your fields. Uh, so this is a step where we want to make sense of your spreadsheet. So we ask you for a little help. And finally, once we have added all the information that we could bring in, you still have to enter some more information to finish each employee's profile. Uh, if you want to see what an example spreadsheet should, could look like, you can click on this. Uh, so this is basically any information with uh, information like employee name, uh, first name, last name, email address, birth date, hire date, their address, uh, their pay types, whether they are salary or hourly, uh, their pay rates, uh, and payment method. Uh, these are also available for you. Uh, you can download it uh, to see if this makes sense for you. There are some conditions when uh, we can help you. Uh, the top row of the spreadsheet must be a header. All your employees info must be in one sheet for us to be able to add those employees. Uh, the only required fields among these are the first name and last name. Uh, this itself would create an employee record for you. If you have this other information, that's good. If you have just the first name and last name, that is useful too. We still save you manual entry of those employee names. Uh, the recommend you to include all W2 employees. 
so that you can enter their pay history, if any, that year that is needed for tax purposes. Okay. So given the conditions that I said a spreadsheet should meet, uh, if you have a spreadsheet like this, uh, I suggest you uh, de delete all the information on top uh, so that the first row is the header row. So I would delete these rows. And then there could be other information that I have here that is not relevant to, that is not just name of employees or employee details. Or it could be other information that is not needed. So I would delete these as well. Uh, the If you see the structure of the spreadsheet, every row is one unique employee, and that is something that we require. So now that I have uh, formatted my spreadsheet the way I need, I can uh, I can save a copy of this and then upload it onto QuickBooks payroll so that it helps me. So let me quickly save. and go back into the product. 